Hi, this is Jane from the library, and I want to show you our new library catalog. So we're at the library homepage. We can just click on library catalog. It looks very similar to the St. Clair County Public Library catalog because it's the same software. Uh, so let's try a search. And I am going to use the term cyber security. And remember, this will search for books that we have, print books. Click on search. We found 10 items. Um, now, for this topic, date is fairly important. Um, and I see I'm pulling up some older titles. So I'm going to sort my list by date. Descending will make most recently published first. I searched everything. I could have searched uh, for specific materials and I searched all fields. So that was the broadest search that we were doing. The first one's a book in education from 2021 that somewhere mentioned cybersecurity in it. Um, but this one looked kind of interesting, Becoming an Ethical Hacker. If I click on the title, it goes to the item record, which shows me like an abstract or summary of the book, some subject headings. Down here, we can look at the summary again. This summary sometimes puts information about the author, which it did, um, and excerpts. Sometimes there will be book reviews here also. I scroll back up to my record. Um, where's the call number? Under available, which disappeared when I clicked on summary, the call number is right there. And it tells us it is checked in. So we can do various actions here. So I could add it to a list. I can email the record to myself if I'm interested in maybe checking it out later. Print the record if I wanted to, or place a hold on the book. I can also place a hold right here. So I am going to place a hold. What it did, because I'm logged into Outlook on this laptop, it automatically logged me in to my uh, account. If you're not logged in, there'll be a little log in right here. If you need to log in or you want to log into your account ever, use the same login that you use to log into um, your SE4 email. So your SE4 email address and password. It's very easy. Once I'm logged in, I can go to my account. Under my account, personal information will be like my home address and what I have on uh, record with the college. Checkouts are books that I have checked out. So I have these two checked out. If I wanted to renew them, I can just click here and click renew and they automatically renew. Holds, it should have that book I just put on hold. It says pending because it's waiting for the circulation staff to see that you have requested this book be pulled for them. Once they do, up here it would show ready for pickup. If I had any fines, and we no longer have fines, so, but there's fines up here and some additional information is available. Under my list, you can create lists. You can change the language if you wanted to change the language. This little icon is the um, enables accessibility mode. FAQs are library FAQs. So it goes to our general FAQs that we have here in the library. Once this book is available for pickup, you can look it up, um, log back into your record. It would say it was ready for pickup. We also have curbside pickup. So if you just want to pick it up 
from the curbside, you can call us at the CERC desk once you're pulled up there and we'll run the book out to you. Thanks.